Hey everybody, we are back for the third time. Um, I give myself a pat on the back, I was right. I couldn't put gears on it. Urgh. <laughs> but the single speed did work. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, you can go check out my other videos. What I had to go through. The bike still needs cleaned up and now that I know it works and it's going to work good. Um, now I might uh, save back some money so I can uh, buy a few things. Um, pedals, seat, maybe a nicer chain, uh, maybe some uh, nicer brake pads, definitely some bar tape. Uh, since the front wheel's a uh, quick release, I might even I might even order a like a newer um, lightweight quick release to put on it. Uh, I'll probably need chain ring bolts. I haven't done anything to the, um, up and close real quick. Haven't done anything to that. It's super filthy. Um, I'll need shorter, um, chain ring bolts, excuse me. And... I still am going to need a half link on the chain. Um, and then I got it. It worked. Uh, I could ride it right now. The chain's kind of loose. But I could still ride it as long as I didn't go too fast. Or over bumpy stuff or whatnot. Um, yeah, super excited. Um... Just thought I'd uh, come back and show you that I got it to work. Um, and yeah, for this is just a cheaper uh, steel road bike that's uh, fairly lightweight. It's probably heavy to people that are buying brand new stuff. It's probably kind of heavy, but it's really not too bad. I don't know what it weighs. I do have a scale. Later on, I'll get it out and I'll weigh it. Let you guys know what it weighs. We'll do another video. Um, sometime in the future. Of uh, what I'm doing with it. Uh, it'll slowly change its look, but... Still looks similar to the same. Uh, I think I need to... As you see, the seat here is way up forward. I might turn this around so then I'm a little bit closer. I haven't decided yet whether I want to change the stem or not because this this stem is actually for a bike exactly this size. Um, so real quick I guess I'll show you what I did. I did find the box. So here's what's going on here. See, I really did pay six bucks right there just to show it. But this is the tire brand. Uh, I'm just showing it here. So if you're wondering, if you wanted to order some online, I'm sure you can still get them. Um... And then you're going to need a 29 inch tire. That size. Uh, whether you're pressed valve or not. But you'll need a, you'll need a 29 inch inner tube. And then you're going to need a... You're going to need a 700C wheel. Let's see if I can get that in there. I'm blocking my light. <laughs> You're gonna need a 700 C wheel. Wait, that doesn't. Does that set it? No. Where's the other one? 
there it is. Right there, see? 700C. It worked. Um, I need to move, I still gotta do some adjusting the wheels over this way a little bit. Um, I just kind of got some, whatchamacallit, going on right now. I need to go to the hardware store and uh, set my wheel very good. It's just, it's just I can ride it right now. I need to do some adjustments. But, um, yeah, so there you go. Um, let's see if I can, yeah. Oops. No, that wasn't a rub. Oh, I got the kickstand down. We're in. Uh, the front has uh, got just a tad bit of rubby to it. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's got a little bit, so I might have to do a little customizing on the tire. That's okay. I kind of expected that. Um, but yeah, it's just a cheapy build. Thought I'd, uh, let you guys know that I made it happen. I was determined to make it happen. So now I officially have a gravel bike. Yay. <laughs> a vintage gravel bike at that. It's even better, yay. And, uh, yeah, it's just a single speed right now. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do here yet, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Maybe order a, a better, like a race face chain ring. And then I want some race face pedals. Some new ones, so I think I'm going with some race face stuff. If I can find it, maybe some race face handlebar tape. Uh, and just kind of stay along with that brand. Um, maybe some better brake pads. Um, just a few things. That seat's gonna go. I'll get something nicer. I'm thinking of buying one of them Ergon seats. Um, but we'll see. I, there's plenty of choice for seats, that's for sure. Um, no, this bike is not made to race. Unless... No, I'm never going to race it. I'm not a racer type person. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Got still some work to do. It's looking kind of ugly right now, but it's going to polish up. It's going to look nice. And I'll have a lot of things more correct and straightened out on it. So I'll be good to go. Put some miles on it. Um... I did change up the pedals to my old, my really old um, Black Odysseys. These are like an old style mountain bike pedal. Yeah, that's indentured in. I did that on purpose. Uh, I put the smaller pedals on because I kind of have narrow feet, so I don't really need super wide pedals. But I am going to go ahead and get some new race face pedals. I haven't decided whether I want to buy a pair with the studs. I think this time I'm going to buy a pair with the metal studs on them. Because um, I probably won't put pedal straps on this. Even though I want to. But I probably won't. If I get the metal studded kind of pedals then I'll be good to go. And they don't cost a whole lot, but yeah, they'll cost quite a bit. That stuff, brand name stuff, gets expensive. But um, I think it will be worth it. Uh, let's see, so you can see me, how I'm doing here. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, if you want to see real quick, I'll show you this uh, vintage Trek behind me. Uh, this is actually a high-quality uh steel lugged road bike uh this was when trek was still making their bikes in the usa so i'm lucky to have one uh i'm unfortunate though that this bike is a tall super tall frame it's like a 63 or something like that it's super tall it's too tall for me um unfortunately again but i'll show you up and close real quick um, check out them dropouts.
they just don't make stuff like that. They actually put some pretty good, you know what I mean, like uh, craftsmanship in the building with stuff. So this is what you're actually looking for, something like this. <laughs> um, super light, super light tubes. Hear the difference? Hear that? It's it's a difference. Um, yeah. Uh, Trek USA made 400 series. Uh, yeah, I tore it down. Um, I guess for parts, I might eventually sell it. It's it's just a nice wall hanging. Um, this bike was a 27 inch wheeled bike. This was not a 700C. So this is actually pretty darn old. Um, if you're building a gravel bike, this is nice to have. Something like a lighter tube. But I'll let you know I did try the 700 by 54 on it and it's no go. You don't have enough room. Plus, its dropouts are short. They're short, so you're not going to have a whole bunch of going back. But, yeah, just thought I'd show that off real quick. Um, Alright, um, I'm going to get out of here. I'll make another video here soon. Um, I still got some bikes I want to share, of course, always. Uh, I love sharing bikes. Um, but, alright guys, uh, take it easy and we'll see you the next time. Later, alligators.